Hello everybody, uh, welcome to this video today. Everyone, before you check out this video, can you please go check out the one who asked for this review? And their name is Magic uh, Menia987. Menia so just click that link, okay? So just go click that. Okay, let's get into this review today. I'm going to be reviewing a bicycle gaff deck. Um, the blue one, um, for reasons, that's one they wanted me to review. So, um, if we just go on with the box, uh, it says bicycle backwards, same as the uh, red one there. It has a red pip, um, as you can see, right on the face, and it says rider back backwards. Then it says playing cards backwards. Everything's backwards on the deck. Then on this side, it says Cincinnati, Ohio, and backwards. Uh, don't know if you can see that. Either way, you can look at it, it won't be the other way. Then you have a free of spades reveal, if you can see that, it's a free of spades reveal. Then it has bicycle poker, um, backwards. On the side it has air cushion finish, backwards, see, made in the USA. And yeah, it rinks backwards, so then the top has poker backwards. So when you open it up, it has all the uh, information as always. Okay, so let's just get on with the deck. Um, with this deck... You get um, you get a blank card. You get two of these, but you get one blank card. You get two cards that are actually puffed up. So it looks like um, they look like this. Basically, it's hard to describe, but they um, have been like they've been, you know, um, puffed. So you make your own trick up with that. Then you have a ace, two aces, and that this ace is missing its pip. But then you turn this over, it's on the back. See. Really nice artwork there. Okay. Then you have the five of spades backwards. Then you have the king of diamonds with the pip moved down. As you can see, this pip's normal. This one's in moved down. Then you have the five of clubs. It's missing its pip and it's on the four of clubs. So it's the four of five of clubs, whatever. And um, then you have the ten of diamonds that have actually all their pips have fallen down. So that's really cool. Then these two here are zips because what you can do. Is you can do an urdinate, you can, you know, push this forward, you know, take one back, I'm doing a really bad one, you just want to pretend to zip it down, maybe to reveal their cards. So, and they're both on the Eight of Hearts. That's really good. Um, then, you get the Three of Spades, um, that's got like a smudge, so you can, you know, go like that, and look, it looks like it's smudged. Really nice. These are all right at the back anyway. Um, then you get a blank card, but on the back of this you get... The six of spades. Um, so look, as you can see, the six of spades has been printed on there. So this should go back there. So you have the six of spades. It looks like you can maybe you can just wipe it, and then it looks like it's transferred onto the back. Then you have a blank card, as you said, but I took that from the bottom. And then you have one queen that's faded, another queen that's a little bit faded. Then this queen's coming back, so you can do the faded queens. Then you have a king of spades that has a bullet hole for it. Um, really nice. As you can see, looks like really cool. Then you have a four of spades. It has a like looks like you got a lighter and burnt it, and it has a king of clubs uh, reveal. Then you have um, the four uh, skull kings. As you can see, you have they've just got they've just got a skull. So maybe you can kill them. Do make think you're rowing trick with it. And then you have two three and a half of clubs. So I don't really know what you can do with these, but um, yeah. So three and a half of uh, clubs. Then you have a fingerprint. This gets great reaction if it's the same size finger. Mine is exactly, and it looks really quite cool. Then you get a two of spades. Looks exactly normal, but then you have an eight of clubs that's been scratched off. So you can you know, shh, shh, and it's actually revealing the eight of clubs. Then you have the four of spades. What's wrong with the four of spades? What do you think? Well, this is a reveal. If you can see that, it says eight of hearts. So it reveals the Eight of Hearts. Then you have the Nine of Diamonds, and it's got a red back, so it looks like you ripped it and put it there. Okay. Then you have a Ten of Spades that's red. You have a Thirteen of Diamonds. And then you have all four pips here, and then you have one there. This is just for a trick. Then you have two bicycle boxes. Okay. Then you have the um, chat, um, Bicycle uh, Masters um, Ace of Spades with a bicycle back. Then you have a tally ho um, with a tally ho with a bicycle bat. Then you have one that has like a skull in it. This video is pushing five minutes, but that's not that doesn't matter. This is a long review. 
Then um, you have this Ace of Spades, it's quite cool. Um, I'm going to probably stick this in one of my Bicycle Blue decks because it just looks quite cool and I'll get rid of the Ace. Um, well, not get rid of it, but you know, look after it. Then you have a couple of Aces. You have the Ace of Spades um, that's been like warped. Okay. Then you have the Ace of Clubs that's been um, crushed. Ace of Dim Hearts and Diamonds. Then you have um, a Seer that's right there. And uh, nothing in his mouth, just great artwork. And then here you have the King of Diamonds reveal with its mouth open. Okay, and then you have the Joker that has a reveal of the Ace of Clubs, and then this one doesn't. Then you have a Joker that's on his bike and he has a blue back, and then this one, he has the reveal of the Six of Hearts. Then you have a guy that's in the coughing, and then all you've got to do is just show he has the Two of Clubs, okay? Then you have a Raven, and the Raven's got nothing in his eye, but then in this one, he's got a Five of Spades, probably hard to see. Then you have a um, basically black bicycle black tiger eight of diamonds. Um, don't know what you could do with that, but yeah. Then you have a really vintage card. This is a disappointment because it's not like the normal vintage. This is one they've kind of rushed, and I don't really like this card, but yeah. So that is the review for the bicycle gaff deck. This is a great deck to get. Um, if you have the money, um, get it. If you don't, then don't worry. It's not. A massive deal, but it's good. I if I had the money. I I bought. I didn't buy these, but um, if I ha if you had the money, just buy them. They're really good, um, as you can see by this review. So yeah, um, that's it. I hope you enjoyed that, and I'm gonna see you um, in two days. That's where my reviews are every two days. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this review. You can get this deck in red. So that's it, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.